Good evening. I'm Eric Andresen, and this is my wife, Karen. <laughs> Thank you. We're the proud parents of three amazing kids, and we live right across the bay in Moraga, which, was makes, which is what makes our story not only close to home, but even more unbelievable. Because our 18-year-old son, Ryan, is the scout who was kicked out of Boy Scouts just eight months ago simply because he's gay. Ryan started as a Cub Scout when he was six years old, and I got to join him as the PAX Cub Master. At the age of 11, he bridged into scouting, and I was proud to follow right along with him and blessed to share some amazing adventures with him. The scouting program helped Ryan become an honor student and a responsible, caring, and loyal young man. And it taught him to be brave, honest, and trustworthy. He was so eager to become an Eagle Scout. It was his goal for almost 12 years. Ryan completed all 21 merit badges, including the Citizenship in the Community Badge, which teaches a scout to stand up for what is right. For his Eagle Project, Ryan built a tile mural at the intermediate school he had attended. His tolerance wall, a monument now in our community against bullying, is made up of 288 individual works of art, each tile created by an intermediate school student, illustrating acts of kindness, tolerance, and inclusion. Ryan completed this wall just two weeks before his 18th birthday. What happened next deeply hurt Ryan and our family, and it has threatened the very institution of scouting. Our son, having learned to be brave, honest, and trustworthy in scouts, admitted to us, his friends, and to the members of the troop that he is gay. The result was rejection by Ryan's trusted scoutmaster, who at the very last minute refused to sign Ryan's Eagle Rank application. And then there was the rejection of the Boy Scouts of America, who formally expelled him because of his sexual orientation. I am so tired of the Boy Scouts telling my son that he's not worthy. He is worthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ryan, Ryan's an amazing young man. And we will always be incredibly, incredibly proud of him. Karen and I have teamed up with GLAAD and Scouts for Equality to push the BSA to change its ridiculous policy. We're doing this so that other kids won't be subjected to what Ryan has gone through. In just two weeks, the Scouts will vote at a national meeting to lift its ban on gay youth. That's good, but not good enough. <laughs> As an 18-year-old, Ryan would still be rejected by the Boy Scouts. And this proposal will continue to exclude gay leaders, like the incredibly talented and passionate mom, Jennifer Tyrell.
You saw Jennifer earlier in Glad's video, and she is seemingly all over the news. <laughs> and loving it. <laughs> Jen launched a firestorm for equality after she was ousted as her seven-year-old son's den leader because she is gay. Along with Glad, our families, and so many others, we have been working tirelessly to ensure the victory with, the, with BSA. This is also your chance to help us. Jen, take it away. Thank you, Eric, Karen, for everything that you have done. I like to stand here by myself. <laughs> We need all parents to be like this. If all parents love their kids this much, the world would be a better place. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> OK, I'm ready. Um, like I said, I, I wish all parents were like this. Um, I get so many emails from kids who are gay, and their parents reject them. And if all parents were like this, we would have so much less suicide. <laughs> Together with GLAD, Alicia and I were able to create a movement. It has spread across the nation. Thank you. By insisting on inclusion for everyone in the Boy Scouts. Even if you do not care about Boy Scouts, inclusion inf affects us all. So along with Eric, Scouts for Equality, and GLAD, we delivered 1.5 million signatures to the BSA headquarters. We called for a national non-discrimination policy. The time for change is now. 